many of us, we go through difficulties and challenges, and at times, we just feel like we cannot get a break. Sometimes at one time, problem after problem after problem, and at this point, a person goes through something which is called emotional anxiety. And what happens is that this anxiety, it devours a person so much so that then a person is, uh, you know, he's afflicted or she's afflicted with depression and then there's stress. And then, you know, there's just a list of issues that then they have to deal with from a mental health perspective. The question is that, what is the solution to all this? SubhanAllah, we find in the Quran that the Prophet ﷺ was going through a very similar situation. See, the reason why we are told to read the Qur'an, the reason why we're told to connect with the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, is because Allah knows our situation. Allah knows what we may go through. And Allah has given us these stories so we can find console in these kind of stories. So we can find a relief in these kind of stories. There is a surah in the 20th juz known as Surah Al-Qasas. And subhanAllah, this story begins with the story of Musa alayhi salam. In Surah Qasas, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the mother of Musa alayhi salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he mentions that think about this woman and all, this, all the odds that are stacked up against her. First of all, she has a child, but she realizes that the life of her child is in danger. And subhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to show us, he's teaching us a very powerful lesson here, that the odds are not just simple odds. We're talking about a child's life. You know, for a parent, one of the most difficult things to endure is to watch your own child, to, you know, watching your own child suffer in life. It's one of the most painful experiences for any parent. Now think about the mother on top of that. First of all is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees that this woman, she's going through immense amount of pressure. A lot of anxiety. What's gonna happen to my child? What's gonna happen to my child? Either she can take care of the child and the soldiers of Fir'aun are gonna come and they're gonna take the child away and kill the child. Or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, put the child in a basket and put it in water. We do know this much, that the water was passing by. This river was passing by the palace of Fir'aun. The one person that she's trying to protect the child from, Allah is saying, put your child in that basket and it's going to flow by that place, but don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. You have to have faith. When you and I, when we go through emotional distress, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that just put your iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's all I'm asking you to do. When you believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah takes care. Allah says, believe in me. Put the child in the water. And then he says, do not be fearful of the future and of what's going to happen to the child. And then once you put your child into the basket and it's gone, do not have any regrets. So this is why this story is mentioned. So that to give us some relief too, that when you and I, when we're going through difficulties in life, think about the mother and putting her child. I'm sure that the challenges that you and I were going through is not as severe as putting, like the mother of Musa alayhi salam, putting the child in the water and then watching this going away. So this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us, number one, the very first thing we must do is, we must put our belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Have a good perception about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you and I, when we go through challenges in, challenges in life, the very first thing is that we have a negative perception about Allah. How cruel is Allah? Why is Allah doing this to me? Why? Why? Allah is this? Allah is that? Where is the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? On the flip side, if we have a husn of dhan with Allah, that perhaps Allah is making me go through this because there's a bigger plan of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then inshallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he's telling us, first of all, you bring your iman, you bring Belief in Allah, do not be worried about the future. I will take care of your future. Do not worry about the past. The past is the past, and I will make sure that you know we have regrets usually about the past. I will eliminate those regrets. Now, one two more things that's very interesting about the surah. The question is, why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mention the surah to begin with? What's the point of Surah Al-Qasas? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is bringing relief to the Prophet. So remember in life. Just like today, we may have odds stacked, stacked up against us. There were times in the life of the Prophet that the odds were stacked up against him. Just like we find in the case of the mother of Musa that the odds were stacked up against her too. We're not the only ones going through this, but Allah has given us the remedy. Number one is, put your trust in Allah. Believe in Allah. 
put your iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah has a plan. Have some husn al with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this insha'Allah will bring relief in the sense that Allah will take care of the future, Allah will eliminate our fear of the future and we will not have any regrets of the past.